Well, uh, if you guys don't understand why my inventory is empty, go check out the last video. It will explain everything without me crying. Hey, what is going on, everybody? I am back today with another video. And yes, my inventory is empty because of a stupid glitch. Which, by the way, on my way back, I fell off another mountain, and guess what? It was an even farther distance than what I died on, with, on the very far away mountain, and I didn't die. I lived on two hearts that time, but the a slightly less, like, a less far jump kills me like here's a picture I can paint for this all right here's a good example this is the mountain height that killed me and made me lose all my stuff and this is the mountain height I fell off of coming home and it left me at two hearts I was at full HP on the first drop how do I know this? Because I was in peaceful. Yeah, I'm just <sighs> that kind of garbage. Like, and I was one block, not even a block, a pixel away from the water. In terms of water placement, I landed right here. Right here on a piece of uh, stone. And the fall killed me in peaceful mode. Y you guys can probably see my anger. But I, I'm not here to dwell on that. Today we are going to the nether, and for this world's sake, for the very first time. So, all I really need to do is make some armor again, and make a brand new diamond sword if I have enough diamonds. I barely do. Hopefully I find a lot more diamonds when I'm there. I have no iron. You know, I knew I lost a lot of stuff uh, during that fall. I didn't know I lost every drop of iron I had. Because I forgot I brought all my iron. I need to make my boots, by the way. Oh. Yeah, I lost a lot of stuff from that fall, and... Boy, I wish I could figure out what my coordinates were, because this is starting to get insanely irritating. Now here's the question. Do I risk going to the nether, the nether, without that much armor? Will it be stupid? Most definitely. Should I risk that anyways? Because I've got nothing to my name anymore? Yet again, my answer is... Most definitely. So 
So, let's go right to the nether. Get all this, get my... Sorry, six obsidian? Where's the rest of my obsidian? I know I have... I had more than six. Huh. Is life seriously trying to tell me... Just restart completely. Because that's what I'm getting the sense of. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so that was laggy right there. What I realized uh, as I'm running down my path, which is now lagging out. I just realized that... I only had 10 obsidian and used four of them on my enchantment table. Here's the thing. I thought I had 15 obsidian. Eleven is enough for a portal, right? No, it is not. I just counted. Because three for the bottom, four for the sides. So that right there is already past 11. So, yeah, I wouldn't have had enough even if I did have 15. Good to know. Good to know. I was really far away on my coordinates. Why the close... It probably wasn't even the closest Woodland Mansion that I think about it. Because I, something I learned a couple months ago or a couple years ago, who knows, is villagers do not give you maps to the closest mansions. Which, by the way... They should do that, because it's a lot less irritating. Because I'm pretty sure the closest Woodland Mansion to me was not thousands of blocks away. A couple thousand, I'd understand. But thousands... Ten thousand away. Actually, not even ten. Eleven thousand away. It sucked. So yeah, the reason I'm going down here is because if I remember correctly, at the end of here, a part of the area that I blocked off is well has a lava flow. So I should be able to get that lava to hopefully get. Uh, enough obsidian to build the rest of the portal with the you don't have a diamond pickaxe method. I doubt it will work that well, but hey. Also, something I also recently learned is I died with all my rails on me. I died with a lot of my good stuff on me. I died with my favorite CD on me after I found it in the Woodland Mansion. Off camera. Yeah. So that teaches me for this world, record everything I do off camera from now on. So I can find the coordinates of stupidity deaths. Because. Here's the thing. Without it being the fault of lag. 
Have you guys ever seen me die once? When I was not lagging, have you guys ever seen me die? I surely haven't. So yeah, horrible luck is what ends me in a lot of games. I'll be back till I get to the uh, lava. Alright, so good news, I had uh, three iron in my zombie farm. So I can make a fifth bucket. Now, if my math is correct, that brings me up to the 11 I would have had. And... That means I need... Six and eight is trying to remember. Eh. If there's a bunch of lava here, then I can get enough already. Ooh, especially seeing there's even more iron right here. So, uh, I should be able to find my uh, lava that was here relatively shortly. Where'd that other piece go? Okay. Thanks for making me look like I was losing my mind. Uh, so yeah, I'll be right back and I'll hopefully have found the lava source again. Oh my god, life really hates me in this game. I almost died with everything I have in a lava pit. <sighs> Look how many buckets I have, by the way. And here's the stupid thing. It, uh, I swear I was walking... Like, here's the stupid part about it all. I was walking... Right there, on this block right here, over to here, on to here, and the game thought I was right here, and dropped me in the lava. That was irritating. Alright, so I was wondering why I was lagging so much, and as soon as I made it up to the surface, I found out... It's because it's raining, and it has not stopped. So, I had a very, very laggy trip this entire way back home. So, that's annoying. And I just realized something else pretty annoying. I used up some of my, um... Uh my diorite to uh, build back up when I just realized like I I dug straight up in order to get my uh, well get back up so uh, just realized that I made the idiotic mistake of using the diorite on that instead of putting it back where it belongs Locking up my uh, zombie farm. So I'll be right back.
So, a thunderbolt just went off. And it was apparently very close to me. Because it just... Like, because of my uh, headset being directional, it just destroyed my... My, uh... My right eardrum. So... <laughs> Uh, ouch? Ouch. Uh, my, my ear is still ringing. Uh. I'm glad my headset's directional because that would have destroyed both my ears. <laughs> uh. Anyway, so I'll be back when I'm at the mine. Okay, first off, uh, I just realized I said mine instead of uh, farm. Grinder, whatever. And two, uh, I came back here because I just... Uh, like, I just looked at time, not the time of recording, the time of, well, the time in general, and realized I might want to act... Is that a witch? Oy vey, of course there's a witch. I might want to get this uh, nether portal created right now. So, make my 3x3 three three right here. Now, these bits I'm going to cover in lava immediately, because these are the less risky parts to cover in lava and water. So, that is what I'm going to be doing right here. That spider's coming after me, isn't it? New. So. Lava. 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 I just realized what I was trying to do. I can't believe I thought that would have worked outside of... Uh... Well, just, let's not talk about that. Perfect. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is not going to be enough lava. Actually, switch that around with the empty buckets. Uh, it doesn't matter. I can get more lava off camera. I guess I'm not going to the nether today for you guys, unfortunately. Three and four. That actually looks like it might be too high. Place and water. Thank you for dying. Place and water. No, not... Actually, hold up.
Okay, so... Oh my goodness, I have enough! I think. Hopefully. Heck yeah! To the nether we go! But we're not gonna be... You know... Exploring it because this video is already 20 minutes and uh, already going to be insanely late on its upload. Crossing my fingers for a good spawn. Maybe if I'm lucky I can spawn in the last biome I need for that achievement. Ugh. <laughs> oh, something just stabbed me in the throat. Whoa, excuse Okay, I thought they were already mad at me. Alright, so it looks like I got a basic nether spawn. So that's unfortunate. But who cares? This is my nether spawn. It is official. Uh, I would explore around, but like I said, I need to get to ending this video. Wait, was that me already returning home? Oh, no, there we go. Wow, what a glitch. Alright, so there's my portal. Everything is uh, done and laggy. Next episode, we are actually going to be exploring. And, by the way, I've completely given up on trying to find my stuff. Because, well... Life just hates me. And it's at a mountain. So, like, in between two different mountains. <clears throat> so, even if I did find the coordinates to my stuff, the chunks will have already been loaded for five minutes, and I would have already lost everything, knowing my luck. So, uh, this is where I basically reset and yeah now I'm not super worried about going into the nether reset like this because I've seen plenty of videos where people after this update came out like not this update but the nether update came out where people actually did nether survivals where they were permanently in the nether until they get to the end Actually, they never even went to the end. But main point, I've seen people do survival series where they had to live in the nether. So, I'm not too scared about it because I'm going to have that exact same concept with the advantage of I've already got a diamond sword. So, I'm not worried. But at the same time, because of my insanely garbage luck, I am ex I'm exceptionally worried. Luck and lag. That's what ends all of my series sometimes. Anyways, I'm going to be ending this video here, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will see you all next time, and goodbye. Holy cow, I'm laggy.